Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lindsay Pruitt, your independent Cincy consultant. And today we are continuing our scent review for the fall 2020 season with the next category being one of my favorites. It's the fruity category. So let's go ahead and get started. Goodness gracious. All right, the first one that we're gonna do is Autumn Road Trip, which is new this season. Oh, I really like this one. This one smells like the first day of fall to me. I think there's actually one called the first day of fall this season, but this smells like the first day of fall to me. It's kind of like that smell like when it's almost fall, but it's still kind of warm outside, but the wind's blowing. That kind of, that's what this reminds me of. Mm, it smells like leaves, wind, a touch of something else. I wish I kind of knew what that smell was crisp, clean mountain air smell, but with that fall, not spice, but with that fall kind of smell to it, Cincy, oh, that must be it, Harvest Apple, it describes it as, take a tour through crisp Harvest Apple, just pick Anjou, Anjou, did y'all say that, Anjou pear, Anjou pear, <laughs> in a forest of towering silver oak, mm, so that oak must be that, like, crisp, clean wood smelling in there. I love this. Um, I've already got it in a pod, I believe. I've got it in the wax for sure. I'm excited. I've already went through some of this at home. Again, that's Autumn Road Trip. The next one surprised me. I got it. Um, I actually got it for a friend and then because my son Liam had misplaced the one I originally bought for. So I bought another one, but then I found the original. So I ended up having an extra one of these. I burnt it or melted it in the house the other day. And I really, really, really liked it. It's called Very Bright. This smells like, to me, this smells like clean cotton candy. <laughs> it smells like fresh cotton candy. It's very clean smelling as far as, it's like a clean fruity smell. It smells fresh to me. I did it in my living room, just one bar the other day, or one cube the other day. And it was so strong and so uplifting. And it was just like a happy smell. Tell me if that smells like cotton candy to you. Yeah, so yeah, like, but it's not like a sugar cotton candy. It's like a fresh cotton candy smell. Um, since he describes it as blue raspberry and fresh clementine, light the way to sugar sweet plum. And y'all know I love anything with plum in it. Mm, very happy, very, very bright, I guess, <laughs> and a clean, fun smell. Um, so I definitely recommend that one. I really do like it. The next one we have is not you. Oh no, I don't have it. Um, the next one we have is Black Raspberry Vanilla. It is the number one best selling Scentsy smell. Um, I've never met anyone that smelt it that did not like it. I wish I had it to review with you to go ahead and smell, but I do know that um, the vanilla in it doesn't smell like bakery vanilla. There's no bakery whatsoever to it. It's a fresh, clean, um, just pretty smell. I have it. I like to give it to people as their first smells when they can't pick out one. They're like, just pick something for me. I always go with black raspberry vanilla. Um, since he describes it as delicious, sun sweetened dark berries warmed with vanilla. And like I said, the vanilla in it is not bakery, anything like that. It's just, I think it kind of just softens it up a little bit to me. Next up, we have caramel apple craze. Oh, I love this one. I think it's no, it's not new. I thought it was new. Maybe it's because I'd never or didn't recognize it before. I love caramel apple and pumpkin spice. Ugh, pumpkin spice. Um, if I had to choose one, caramel apple is going to win. I love last year I had caramel apple cleaning supplies during the fall and I just cleaned for the heck of it just so I could smell the caramel apple everywhere. Mm. This one is not, it's like not bakery. I don't like bakery. It is in the fruit category because the first thing you smell is like mm, crisp. Like it smells like a, what are they called? Johnny apples? No. Johnny Smith? No, those are the green ones. I don't know. It smells like the red, red delicious. That's what they're called. Red delicious apple. <laughs> Johnny Smith. Mm, and it has like a touch of caramel sweetness on the end of it but like I said not bakery at all it smells really good I cannot wait to melt this one this year since he describes it as creamy golden caramel sweet red ha 
See, red delicious apples and whipped vanilla. I was right for once. And I don't smell vanilla. I don't pick out vanilla. I think it's just like that. Well, like I said, that's kind of soft, soften um, up some of the fruity smell of vanilla. Very nice. I like this one a lot. Cannot wait to melt that this year. Um, next is one of my favorites of the new releases. I love this one. Love, love, love. It's called Cloudberry Dreams. It's pretty pinky purple looking thing. Oh, I love this one. I immediately fell in love with this one when I got it with the new releases for fall. And I've already had this going at least twice in our bedroom. This smells like rose. Soft rose, but like almost with a like masculine touch to it. And kind of like a, like a suede softness, I guess. But it's not the powdery rose. It's like the fresh cut rose because I, I do believe there's a difference between the two. One of them to me smells like old, outdated, perfume, flowery smells. The other one smells fresh and new and hip, I guess. But I love this. I love laying in my room and melting this. I feel super feminine and flirty when I melt this. And it just puts me in a great relaxing mood. Um, since he describes it as sweet raspberry, a whisper of rose, sort of through billowy burst of peach and vanilla. So I guess like that soft kind of suede smell I was describing is actually the the vanilla on the end of it. But yeah, this is a really, if you like feminine, girly, sweet smelling pretty scents get you some cloudberry dreams it smells so good next up we have honey pear cider i thought i would like this a lot more than i did because it has cider and i was thinking like i guess mold cider or like spice cider it still smells good i was just it smells unexpected i guess to what i was thinking it smells to me like pears Cinnamon sticks, maybe a touch of clove. That's what this smells like. Fresh, nothing else in there really to me. Um, since he describes it as a scent of pure autumn bliss, fresh juicy pear, sweet honey together with subtle hints of spices. I don't smell any honey. There is a sweetness to it, but like I said, it just smells like that and mulling spices, pears and mulling spices. Mm, really nice different than what I thought it was going to be. Next we have perfectly pomegranate. And this smells like fresh, clean pomegranate. Yep. That's just, I mean, that's, I don't really smell any other notes to that. Since he describes it as dark and juicy pomegranate with a sweet berry finish, this is a classic. This is also a bestseller. I know a lot of people like this. Mm. If you like pomegranate smells, you don't want nothing else. Just your fruit, fresh, juicy pomegranate. This one's definitely for you. Um, Next up we have Snowberry. This one smells like my mom's house at Christmas. She melts this all the time. I, I don't know how to describe this. Smells like um, kind of wood, maybe a little bit of pine. Maybe it's like cranberry. Ooh, like that cranberry. That's what it smells like, but on the garland. With like a hint of maybe mint. I don't know. What do you think about that? Since he describes it as luscious blend of loganberry, strawberry, peppermint, and zesty cinnamon. I don't smell any cinnamon in that. Do you? Oh, it's, it's a unique smell. It's a very unique smell. Um, it reminds me of Christmas. I don't know if that's because my mother always used it at Christmas for years now, but mm, smells good. It's very unique. If you want a unique smell, I don't smell strawberry per se. It smells to me like this smell like a forest with some kind of berry with a little bit of mint. That's kind of what it smells like to me. Yeah. I didn't pick up on the cinnamon. Brandon said he smelled the cinnamon. So if there is cinnamon, I don't think it's really strong. Next up, we have snow-kissed cranberry. Mm. And this smells like cranberry, but like a soft, just a soft, 
nice cranberry version. Mm, that's really nice. This is really nice and really pleasant. It's like a softened cranberry smell. Um, since you describes it as a frozen pink cranberries, check through fresh fallen powder, white balsam, 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 and glistening sugared woods. Yep. The woods makes it like a fresh, fresher smell instead of it being like just plain fruit with a like hint of masculinity. It smells really good actually. It's snow kissed cranberry. The next one is Very Merry Cranberry. And this smells like cranberries. And something else. Cranberries and maybe like an orange or some kind of citrusy smell. Since he describes it as blush red winterberries pop against a backdrop of snow covered cedar, creating a lovely winter landscape. Way off. There's no citrus at all in there. I don't. I did not pick up on the cedar in this because I like cedar. To me, and my sniffer may be off, it's it smells like cranberries with some kind of like, maybe like a blood orange. Let me know what you think. It's like there's an orange in there. No. <laughs> it's citrusy. I know. It it's doesn't smell like cedar cinnamon. though. Also a cinnamon. It smells like citrus cinnamon to me. And last but not least is winterberry apple tea. I like this. I got the pods this year. I'm gonna put this in my car. I'm very excited about it. It was one of the first things I ordered was the pods and this smell. Oh, this smells like hot tea with like berries and there's that like Christmas spice, not like cinnamon slap you in the face, nothing like that. It's just like spicy, spicy hot tea. Spicy, hot, fruity tea on a cold day. That's what this smells like. Take a whiff of that, too. What do you think? It's spicy, hot, fruity tea on a cold day. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> yeah. Since he describes it as winter tea, cozies up to cranberry, apple, and honey. I didn't, I did not smell any honey in this. Maybe the honey is just what softens up the smell, but... It's not like in your face, honey. It just smells sweet. This one's really good. I'm really excited about this. I think I'm going to get it in wax form too and melt into the house. But regardless, it is going in my car. I'm very excited. I got the pods. They're actually right over there on the counter. I'm just waiting for it to get cold because I'm weird. I like certain smells when it's cold, certain smells when it's hot. And when it feels folly enough or wintry enough, that's when these bad boys are going to come out. So there you have it. That is the fall 2020 fruit collection. If you like my video, please hit the like button. It helps a lot. And if you like hearing these videos, um, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If there's certain things you want me to review or questions you have, definitely leave me a comment. And there are also links below to get involved in my VIP group, um, all about Sensi, other videos, and any kind of other information that you may need. Hope you all have a good week, guys. Thanks.